got our room, but I thought before I shower, because I need to shower off this spray tan, I would show you guys the cute little bathroom. So this is the bathroom. We're staying at the Arlo Midtown, and it's so cute. Even the lobby was like just adorable. And they have some good looking products in here, which is kind of nice. I forgot all my body wash and shampoo and all that and then we have a nice king-size bed um, but the view is like pretty dang cool it's awesome um, so yeah we have a full view right here I was doing a little bit of work right there but it's pretty cute it's definitely small but it's cute and does the job so I'm gonna shower. I'm literally so tired, so I might fall asleep after for a little bit because I did not sleep on the plane and I'm exhausted. So let's shower. So I passed out. I fell asleep when we got back to our hotel um, and checked in. I was feeling so tired. It was hard to like keep my eyes open. So I was like working a little bit in bed after I showered and then I just passed out for a couple hours. So feeling refreshed. I do feel like I needed it. But I am, we're getting ready because we're gonna go get some dinner somewhere. I just did, redid my makeup and stuff. I'm feeling way more awake. Like I look refreshed too. So feeling better. Um, I picked out my outfit right there. But one thing I wanted to do real quick is put my film in my film camera because I really want to get some cool film photos while we're here. So that's what I'm doing. I got the Cinestill film. That's supposed to be really cool looking. It's supposed to be really like vintage and um, should be cool. So I think I'm gonna bring it out with us when we go everywhere, just so I can get some cool, some cool footage. So I'm excited. I keep getting like the goosebumps in here. It's so cold. Um, but let's put it in. So basically, I just drop it in this part, and there's a place back. Uh, where we live where I go and get it developed and they're pretty good to get it developed for me really quickly um, so I do it like that and then I just have to pull this to the other side okay now we're good so I believe I get 36 exposures with this so quite a bit amount of pictures I needed that sleep because like I told you guys yesterday I did not really sleep on the plane so I pretty much skipped a whole night of sleep so I was exhausted um, so I slept really good and then we actually went to the gym this morning and it did a peloton workout which really just woke me up got an espresso so I'm feeling good I'm feeling ready to explore more of the city so today we're gonna go more towards like like south um so we're gonna go to soho um and we're also gonna go look at the world trade center maybe go to the museum there so i'm pretty excited but first before we do anything i'm actually catching up on some work because 
one of my clients we need to publish his website today because he has a conference he's going to um, on Monday and he just wants to have um, something ready for that so I'm working on the website right now and I just realized I forgot my memory card reader for my um, to get my videos on my camera to my laptop which quite a bummer because I wanted to start editing like slowly editing this vlog to post it on Monday so today we're probably gonna have to go find one of those somewhere I don't know where but that's kind of the plan <laughs> we need to find that so it's gonna be a fun day I'm gonna take you guys along with me I'm loving this hotel it's so cute they have a rooftop bar and restaurant they have like a really nice gym I couldn't believe they had a peloton um, it's such a nice hotel so highly recommend so far um, but let's get some work done and then let's hit the town show you guys the website I just published so um, this is what it looks like it's very like corporate-esque kind of hold on this looks so dark anyway it's like very um, corporate kind of but super simple um, we have the solutions here I'm having trouble aligning these so I'm having my developer fix that um, and then we have the testimonials here footer this is built on WordPress and then we have the service page so I think it came together pretty nicely especially for a website that can't be too um, kind of out there with the design so the testimonial page and then the contact page so I really like how it came together but I just notified him that I published it so we should be all good there. Oh, see, Nia, I need to fix that because the home um, logo goes to the old home, so I gotta fix a couple things. Wasted money on cures. Forgot how to fix myself. They say that time is free. Then why is it so precious? Oh, I say. They have so many good stores here. That was one of the things I was like, I wanna make sure I save some room in my suitcase so I can kind of shop around. So I went to uh, Urban Outfitters, went to Aritzia, but Aritzia, I don't really have that many things from there, but there was a whole upstairs with everything on sale. So I got quite a bit. Thought I would show you guys what I got because I'm excited. I got a couple basics. I got a really pretty dress that I think I'm gonna wear to the Broadway show we're going to. And it's just a nice dress for like wedding, if I'm going to a wedding, which I am going actually, so I'll be perfect for that. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll try it on for you guys. But I got some cute, cute things. I also have always wanted their contour bodysuit. Um, because I've heard that that's like a really good basic to have. So I got the black contour bodysuit, which is so soft. I'm so excited for it. I just feel like it's so flattering and I'm excited. So I got that. Um, I got a basic white top that I've actually been wanting this one. Um, I feel like it's good to like work out with or just during fall and stuff with some cute pants. It's like a nice thermal like a waffle kind of material so cute it's by the brand sunday best so i got that i kind of want to try it on actually let's see i just feel like they have like the best basics so yeah that's pretty cute definitely not with this outfit but it's cute um and then they had some basics on sale actually 
that I was excited to see because I love this one white shirt I got from them. It's cropped and stuff and I'm so mad at myself because I put it in the wash with other things so it got kind of not great. But they had um, this white tee oversized basic shirt on sale and it's by the TNA brand which I love. Um, yeah, it's so comfy and so soft and it was 60% off which was really, really good. So I got that and then what else? Oh, I got the pretty dress, which is this pretty green color, and they like hyped me up because they were like, oh, it'll go with your eyes. So we'll have to try that on. And last thing is these really cute cargo pants um, in this brown cognac color. So let's try the pants and the dress on. I'm excited. Um, it's like a cowl bag. It is very pretty. Um, a little bigger on the bigger side than I thought, but I do like it. I think it's really pretty, really cool. Um, Saturday we are about to head out go grab another bagel um, and then I think we're gonna get some coffee and head to like St. Cathedral St. Patrick's Cathedral area and like maybe shop around a little so I will take you guys with with us tonight we do have a Broadway show so I'm super excited about that but I am kind of struggling right now because I wore my sandals yesterday and I have the worst blister on both of my feet so I need to go get a band-aid because it hurts so bad to walk. Um, so I'm hoping the band-aid helps and fixes it. But uh, yeah, let's go find that. <laughs> Sunday and last night we actually went to a Broadway show my our very first Broadway show and it was so so good we saw Sweeney Todd truly amazing how they can sing dance act everything um, so that was super fun but today we are going to walk around um, some more sites and stuff I'll take you guys with us and then later today we have a tattoo appointment so I'm super excited I want to get like a super tiny w for our last name since my sister got married just kind of has like some symbolism that no matter if our names change we'll all be connected still so do you want to get a w um, i'll take you guys with us there but we are hungry so let's go get some breakfast <laughs>
balancing on like the edge of the platform bed so I'm hoping it doesn't fall but hello it is Sunday evening we pretty much walked around all of Soho all of NoHo New York um, today so we walked so much already I think we are tracking and it's been like 20,000 steps per day and some days was more than that so we are exhausted that is why I'm actually already in the hotel. My boyfriend went to work out because he's crazy. And he's still at energy, but I am like exhausted. My feet hurt. I literally have band-aids on my heels because I have the worst blisters. Um, so it's kind of early tonight. It's like seven o'clock, but I was like, I think we should just rest up and like wake up early tomorrow. And I think we're gonna go to down by the World Trade Center. He's like super into stocks and investing. So I know he'll get a kick out of like stock exchange and all those buildings down there. So like we're gonna do that and then possibly go over to the Brooklyn Bridge and cross over into Brooklyn and kind of explore that. So tomorrow's our last full day in New York. And then on Tuesday, we have to head to the airport at like two o'clock, so kind of our last day um but i know before i or when i was talking to you guys earlier today we had plans to get tattoos today we went to the studio and um she printed it out and everything she drew what i wanted and it was perfect like tiny size um perfect looking but she was trying to charge me 500 dollars for like a tattoo like not even not even that big it was so small um and when she said 500 i was like i should have definitely like asked beforehand but at the same time they told me the shop minimum was like 250 and i know new york i'm sure they can charge a lot more and they are really great artists but it was just way more than i was like mentally planning for so ended up not doing it i just was kind of like feeling like it wasn't meant to be i want to like go to an artist who I don't know I just I felt like it was a little weird also because she said that I will probably need a touch-up which I know is normal for like single needle but I don't live here so it wouldn't have made sense like the touch-up came with that 500 but I don't know 500 to me just sounded insanely expensive so we didn't do that which was fine we actually went to an early dinner at this Mexican restaurant it was so good um I got this giant taco salad i'll put a picture here it came out on the plate and it was freaking huge but it was really good um and then we walked over to the washington square park which i love that area so much i really really like that so we walked around that um and then we took the train back home so back to the hotel not home so i'm here now uh like i said i'm just gonna relax and i think i'm actually going to edit this youtube video so i can get it up for you guys tomorrow um, I missed last Wednesday's upload. I always beat myself up when I miss it, but between my sister's wedding and leaving for New York, it was just so much going on. So I'll be back on it starting this week. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna relax tonight. Oh, I wanted to show you guys a couple things I did get though while we were here. One thing I've been wanting to purchase for myself that I always felt like it wasn't necessary. It is kind of a luxury item. Um, and that is some perfume. So when I met my boyfriend in um, Portugal, at the Paris airport, they had this perfume called Dip Tea. I think that's how you say it, Dip Tea. Um, and I smelled it and it, I just fell in love with the scent. Um, it smelled amazing, but they don't have it where I live. They don't have it in any of the stores. I would have had to buy it online and I couldn't remember the scent name. So we came across one of the stores today and they had the scent. So this is the brand. Of course, I love the branding. I think it's so cute. Um, but the actual scent I got is the Loud Papier. I don't know how to say it, but it smells so freaking amazing. He was telling me it's a little more musky, but I don't think it's musky at all. I think it's like a fresh, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just such a fresh, clean scent and I'm obsessed with it. And then they actually threw in a couple little sample ones for me too. Um, so I got the, I don't know how to pronounce any of these to be honest. Um, but yeah, they all smell so good. So that is one thing I did splurge on. And I also had to go to B&H, which I never seen at B&H store in person. This is where I get all my camera gear from. 
um, most of my camera gear is from here. So it was cool to see an actual store, but I forgot my memory card reader. So I'm gonna have to um, use this. I did go in there to purchase this so I can edit my video. Um, yeah, those are the main things I got. And then I showed you guys my Aritzia things. Oh, I forgot to show you my Free People purchase. Okay, so I know I showed you guys the New York hat I got from Free People, but this dress was also at Free People and it's just so cute. It's like a little mini dress. Um, I just think it's adorable and the back is like a tie. It's so like comfortable. I love like this top, everything. When I put it on, it was just so flattering on my body. So I was like, I wanna get this. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it to, but I love, I love it. So I got that. Um, Oh, and then I showed you guys the Ritzia stuff, but those brown cargo pants were tiny, like so small on me. Um, and I just, I was Googling like, is Ritzia's pants, like, do they run small? And I've heard that they do on some of the brands. And maybe that's why I was on sale because it was like so tight. So I was like worried because it was on sale. Didn't think I'd be able to return it, but they told me today because we passed one of the stores. They said I could bring it in and swap the size. So I need to do that tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, so I've been shopping a lot here Definitely a lot, but I feel like New York stores are just hundred times better than where I'm where I live Anyway, I am going to close this video off Like I said tomorrow, we're gonna be around that World Trade Center area We're gonna go into the museums and stuff. It's gonna be really fun But I think it'll also be kind of nice to not feel the need to constantly film everything I really just want to like be in the moment and like just kind of wander around and not have to pick up my phone all the time. So I'm excited for that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little New York trip. It's been so fun. I really feel too that taking time off is so necessary as a business owner because as business owners, we never stop working. Um, and I'm sure you guys know what I mean. It's hard to step away. Um, it's really hard to do that. So it's been kind of nice to kind of force myself to go on a little trip, a little vacation. It's been so nice to take some time off. I feel like I have just been in like the busiest season and it's been an amazing busy season, but I feel like I needed to take a mental little like breather, a little break away from everything. And it was so, so necessary. Honestly though, if I'm gonna be 100% honest, I feel like New York was like the last place to go for a breather. It's been like chaotic here. So many people, so much walking. I I definitely feel like I need a vacation from this vacation, but it has been fun and it's been nice to just be with my boyfriend since he travels a lot. Um, there's definitely been a lot of fun things, but I'm like, I could use like a nice long like spa or like beach day because I'm exhausted and there's so many people, but I know that'll come and it's been super fun so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it i'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up subscribe down below i will leave all the information down below of things i recommend on this trip on the hotel everything um so definitely go check out that down below but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video